Hey guys, we've just arrived. Happy New Year to you all. We are at Sorrento Back Beach. It's got some fantastic landscapes and we're gonna go shoot some raw video on my Canon EOS M camera, which I've got right here. I've got the Canon 17 to 55. I'm gonna see how it performs in this fantastic area. And man, just blown away by the scene. I'm not sure if you can see that behind me. Massive mountain over there. We're gonna also board a ferry uh, for New Year's and just have lots of fun shooting some magic lantern and raw. So let's get into it. All right, so this is Sorrento Back Beach. This place is just absolutely amazing. Lots of fantastic landscapes to capture on my Canon EOS M and the 17 to 55, which is gonna to prove to be an absolute versatile instrument uh, to capture the best scenes that we can get with 2.4K raw video, two to one aspect ratio, 25 frames per second. Let's go. The Canon 17 to 55 is such a great lens. I'm just gonna go ahead and capture some landscape shots of the mountain view and some of the rocks just over here by the water. It's a beautiful day, so uh, yeah, let's go far away, some magic lantern roar. In my bag with me, I've also got the 11 to 22 mil. I've got the 55 to 250 EFM mount lenses. I tested the 11 to 22 before. It's a fantastic lens, four stops of stabilization, and you're gonna get nice, smooth handheld footage with that lens. It's compact and I absolutely love it. But the lens that I've been taking out the most has been the Canon 17 to 55 f2.8. It's versatile, 17 to 55 mil, and then with the crop mode, you get even extra range. Um, you also have the f2.8 aperture, which goes to f2, thanks to the speed booster. And the IS, the stabilization, is fantastic as well. So in a second, I'm going to share my settings that I use. But right now, I think there are some great opportunities to capture some more Magic Lantern RAW, 2.4K resolution on the Canon EOS M. Let's go. Getting this super wide angle shot, it looks remarkable. All right, so I'm gonna quickly change to the Canon 11 to 22, just to show you guys what it can do. And that rhymes. <laughs> All right, so I've got the speed booster with my 17 to 55. With the 11 to 22, it's just a native mount, so just pop it on like that. Super compact, it feels super light, and I have a CPL filter just to cut off the reflections. So I'm gonna record this shot over here with the 11 to 22 and 2.4K RAW. All right, so here is the 11 to 22, and I'm gonna click record. You can see that, you can see the reflection on the water. Now, as I turn the CPL filter, look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. Turn the CPL filter again, you can see the reflection. And now I can remove that reflection. So CPL filter is absolutely handy for these types of scenarios where you wanna see through the water. I'm just testing the flaring of the 11 to 22. It's got such great stabilization. Doing a nice little pan up the top. Shooting 11 mil. All right guys, so that's it for this place, Sorrento Back Beach. We're gonna head over to the Sorrento area where they have the ferry. We're gonna board the ferry and we're gonna head over to another location called Queenscliff. So let's go. All right, we are running a bit late. Don't know if we're gonna make it, I think we should. What do you guys think about those shots so far? The 11 to 22 and the Canon 17 to 55 IS lens. Not a cheap lens, 
but it does the job when you want to get that versatility. A sort of a Sigma Art 18-35 sort of similar lens, but with stabilization and a slower aperture. Alright guys, so I've just equipped the mighty Canon 55-200. to It's an EFM mount lens, it's native, it's super compact and that's the beauty of it. I mean, I'm using crop mode, so this 55-200mm to mil is not going to be, you know, 260mm on APS-C or whatever. This is going to be even further, this is going to be around, I don't know, 400 or more. So I can see lots of great shots here that you couldn't get with an APS-C body and this same lens. The fact that you can crop in even further with Magic Lantern RAW is absolutely insane. You're getting nice crisp footage from this old little camera from 2012. So it's got stabilization. I don't have to try to hold it as still. I think that it's working fantastic right now with the stabilization. There's no jitterness or anything like that. I'm just scouting my scene, making sure it looks appealing and I can see some boats just charging at each other. The trickiest thing about filming seagulls is the fact that they're white, so they clip quite easily, and when you try to recover the highlights, you end up messing up the shadows. We have just arrived. Our car is inside the ferry. I'm going to take out my EOS M after to get some raw footage around the ferry and see if I can get some cinematic shots going. First time having a car inside a ferry, it's absolutely amazing. I think you can fit like 100 to 250 cars in here, it's absurd. Yeah. Alright guys, so we've just boarded the ferry and I'm going to shoot with the Cameo M, shoot some magic lines and raw now because there are some fantastic shots coming up. I'm going to explore the ferry and go up to the upstairs section and see what it's all about. But uh, the scenery right now is fantastic. All right guys, so I'm in the ferry canteen. It's a bit noisy in here, but these are my settings. So I'm in 2.8K preset and raw video. I'm shooting 2432 by 11. 90 resolution so if I go into that you can see that I've set 16 by 9 but the override aspect ratio is 2 to 1 aspect ratio so you still get the black bars you still get that filmic look and it's just a bit bigger than the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio I've set here 2.35 to 1 but that's not overriding so it's still 2 to 1 aspect ratio bit depth is 10 bit and set 25 FPS is on 5600 Kelvin. This is my live view. If I press the info button, I can check my framing. So I hit record and then I press info button to check what I'm actually recording. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm shooting with a Canon 11 to 22 mil. Just 
putting the 11 to 22 to a test. I can see I'm blowing out the poles, but that's okay. We don't need to save everything. All right, so now we're just exiting the ferry. Oh yeah, exit straight up. Yeah. Yep. So we're finally here, arrived at Queenscliff, and obviously we had to take the car out. Can't leave that on the ferry. All right, time to get some raw shots. All right, so we're gonna do a bit of shopping, as you do. Gonna get some dinner, fish and chips, and man, today's been such a hot day. Tried my best to get some clips out of the USM. The 17 to 55 is a great lens. The 11 to 22 is a great lens. Really depends on your needs, you know. If you need something a bit uh, faster for low light shooting, then you go with the one with the fast aperture. If you need something a bit versatile, then you just gotta think these things through. I wanna be near trees. I wanna be near trees. They put me at my ease. Trunk, bow and leaves. I wanna be near trees. I like it in the shade. I like it in a glade The shelter they provide means that I can hide I wanna be near trees I wanna be near trees I wanna be near trees Oh man, the wind is starting to pick up. It's super windy out here. I've got my Canon EOS M. The GPO power bank is on about three bars. I used it two days ago and yesterday. It is the best, I made a review on it. But right now, I've got the Canon 55-200 to 200 with me. EOS, EOS M mount lens, so no adapter required. And well, I'm gonna put it to the test. I haven't used it for the majority of this trip. And you know, I gotta give it a go. I've also got the 17-55, to 55, which has been one of my favorite lenses to use. It isn't the sharpest, and when you shoot wide open, there's some softness, some aberration. Um, in, in the corners and poles and stuff like that. But let's take this off and mount the 55 to 200 and see what we can get with this lens here. And then I'm gonna switch to the Canon 11 to 22 mil so you guys can see how these lenses look like with the Canon US M and Magic Lantern Raw. Now the next destination, we're going to Geelong. It's another city in Victoria and we are going to get the fireworks. So we're gonna stay up late at night and just see if the USM can do well in low light and capture the fireworks that we see for New Year's Day. All right, so here's the 55 to 200. And I'm checking my exposure here, pressing the info button, check my framing. And I can see I need to lift it just a bit higher. All right, exposure value is one. We want her about 0.6, that's good enough. Check your framing, check your focus, and hit record. 2.4K raw. Recording. Shooting with the Canon 11 to 22 mil with this CPL filter. Just getting a landscape shot. I really love this place. Okay. Found a crazy place. It is super duper windy here. 
the contrast is very high because of the sun where it's positioned but I'm gonna put this on a tripod honestly this 11 to 22 lens doesn't even need a tripod it's just super stabilized but you know when you want to get something even more stabilized you use a mini tripod so here we go I can see that it's over and it's normally the sky so I'll turn my CPL filter see if I can fix it all right stopping down aperture to around f12 it's not the ideal aperture but when you want to get that dynamic range you got to make some sacrifices I'm gonna pack away the uh, mini tripod and just go handheld I love that feeling of just holding it out like that and panning it myself I don't like it being still all the time having a still image so let's take this mini tripod off All right, so it's getting dark now. Sunset is right over there. It looks fantastic. And I'm gonna capture it with the Eros M. All right, shooting with the 17 to 55. Look at that. As you guys can see, it's getting dark. I took a few shots of the sunset and I think they look fantastic. I looked at my playback on my EOS M 2.4K RAW and it looks great. So yeah, we're gonna move over to Geelong City. I'm gonna capture some fireworks, see how well the EOS M RAW does in low light with the 17 to 55 on a speed booster. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some great shots. Hey guys, a happy new year. We've arrived at Geelong City and this is where the fireworks are gonna happen. And you can see there's a massive light display over there. I've got my Canon M with the 17 to 55 f2.8 lens and it's gone down to f2 because of the speed booster. I'm gonna shoot 5K FRTP and see how I go capturing footage, raw video, in such a low light situation. So, wish me luck. 5K FRTP.
right guys, there's like a countdown. Five minutes left until the fireworks. They're gonna appear right up there behind me. Got my Kennedy SM ready, I'm gonna shoot 2.5K raw. And I'm at F2 aperture, 3900 Kelvin. I don't care, 400 ISO. Just gonna get the fireworks and enjoy the new year. Two minutes left, it's all happening. And man, my live view is pitch black. This one's gonna be a big one apparently. Lots of boats around, you can hear the audio going. All right, everyone's all there, they're all packed up. And this is gonna be big. Oh, what's down there? The red lights down there. This is absolutely amazing. So guys, that's the end of the fireworks demonstration. We got all the footage on the Canonius M. I think they're gonna turn out fantastic. Now, happy new year to all you guys out there. And there's gonna be lots more to come on this channel. So stay tuned for that. But right now, it's time to go. I need to get some sleep, catch on some rest. And uh, yeah, happy new year. Bye guys.